Today, we're very lucky. The temperature rose up to almost 50 degrees. We today need to put a grounding rod in to be able to ground the house because it hasn't been properly grounded, the, the whole electrical system. So I bought a eight foot copper rod, grounding rod from Lowe's and some proper ground wiring. And today's gonna be the day to try to, to do that. So you can see here I just got through the pathway into the next meadow. You can see this is where I am and there's the house. Here we have our project. We have an eight foot long copper grounding pole and we have 22 feet of eight gauge um, copper grounding wire. And then we have the pole pounder, which we borrowed from the farm. So let's get started. Okay, so for the most part, people walk by on this path, passing the house this way, right here. Like as, I, as the screen's moving, I'm walking, I'm walking backwards, so it looks like I'm walking forwards on the camera. So let's see, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put the grounding rod in a place that is not as visible, so it's more aesthetically pleasing because you can't see it. Um, underneath, or not underneath actually, but right in the corner, actually right, if you can see the generator, it's gonna be right next to the generator, right down here. Like this, here we go. Okay, it's now all set. And as you can see, there it is. Okay, so here we are at the shed and I'm about to connect the copper grounding wire to the smart battery charger. And the way I do that is I'm gonna actually lit, bring underneath, bring the wire underneath the shelf here, push it up, and then there's this little um, this little terminal. There's the grounding terminal you can see. I'm gonna just simply connect the wire to that. Okay, so here's an underneath view of what I'm about to do. So I'm taking the grounding rod, which I just brought underneath the shelf, I'm just going to poke it through the grounding terminal. See how it poke out just a little bit up close to that side view. Okay, so I just cut the piece just long enough so that I think that it'll fit just right when we poke it into the, the grounding terminal. Right in right into there that's the inverter the 3000 watt inverter and that will go down out of the shed into the grounding rod that we just banged in okay we got both the cables or both the copper grounding wires into the grounding chases they're chases ground and the one that's going out to the grounding rod i drill the hole so it goes down and then underneath and comes out on the other side you can see right there it goes all the way over to the grounding rod right there that's what we, we decided the generator for now until we build an enclosure would be quieter if it were on the far the back side of the house so now you can see we've grounded the cable right there and it's going to go under the house and over to the grounding rod on the other side okay so it's almost five o'clock now and i would say the project is done for today but it's not quite quite perfect so the reason i've got a piece of hand uh, pair of pliers there is to make sure the grounding terminal doesn't the wires don't move at all they're in there and they're definitely connected to the pole which is about eight eight feet down in the ground so there you have it the generator is on now and properly grounded to our grounding rod which is eight feet in the ground hope you enjoyed this video please um, comment rate and subscribe you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching.